So our, our OneNotes live in the cloud and the children can go straight to the hyperlink to, to their login and, and they're away. It's really quick and it's really easy. It's a swipe, click the link, login and, and they're in and away. Um, so the cloud alongside the surface, that's the, the, the technology really that we use first and foremost. And then I think that's kind of really just started to uh, take off in our school is Yammer. Has anyone here used Yammer or seen Yammer? No, yeah, a couple of people nodding back there. So I got introduced to Yammer uh, probably about November of last year. And I've oh, yeah, been waiting for this. this. This is what we're waiting for. It's a social network, but it's just for school. Uh, and so, you know, we can just use the school page and no one else can get on it. And it's great. And so uh, we've started to uh, hold these discussion groups and threads and everything within Yammer. Uh, and this is, oh, I think this is a nice example of how uh, ideas can develop in social networks in the way that they can't in group emails. So uh, previously, you know, to collaborate, there's lots of group emails flying around, lots of people kind of, you know, giving an answer. This is Beth. She's an NQT at our school. She's in her third month of teaching, and often NQTs don't feel confident speaking out at staff meetings or putting their ideas forward. Uh, and she's kind of dropped in uh, this this suggestion about having an emergency assembly where suddenly all the children get to called into the hall and it's a bit of a panic and an unknown and a box is delivered with books in and there's a letter and with, you know, it's a lovely idea and that's been able to develop a bit and it goes on and on and on and anyway we held the assembly on Monday just gone it was lovely uh, and I thought that how Yama is a place where ideas develop in a way that um, they've done outside of a, a social network particularly in uh, cases where you're not working on the same site. So, um, so this is our trust, this is our multi-academy trust and we're six schools working together in the town and this is the group, so the way that Yammer works is we have different different groups, this is the Empath Digital Strategy Group and the 14 staff are able to communicate, have discussions, follow different threads, you can kind of message people and so on. So. Uh, Yama for us has uh, got huge potential. We have staff who um, want to work more closely with their year groups across different schools and this gives us a way to, to put them together and to share ideas and, uh, and so on. Um, so the kind of last thing uh, for, uh, for us this year uh, now is about the Showcase Schools project. So as I said, there's six schools in the UK, we're one of two primaries in that. Uh, and what we're hoping to do is to be able to really share lots of things that are going on uh, with the technology, with the curriculum uh, throughout these schools and encourage more schools to, um, to get involved or to come and visit and find out more. And uh, one of the ways that we, we're kind of delighted that we're going to be able to do this is through a, a new resource that we've, uh, we're setting up this spring uh, at Simon de Senlis. It's called the Sandpit. It's, uh, it's based on the, the showcase classroom uh, uh, idea that we saw uh, at Microsoft, which is a great resource that they've got uh, open at the moment in London. And we visited there, we came back inspired, but we thought, what if actually a resource like this could be in a school? What if uh, a resource like this could be used every day by teachers and children? And what if the children could have a hand in the design? of that uh, place and so on. So the Sand Pit will open in the spring. Uh, it's um, it's uh, in conjunction with Microsoft and ISIS, who are the furniture partner, and uh, we use lots of ISIS furniture in the school already. Uh, so um, people will be able to come, use one-to-one -one, uh, Windows 8, possibly Windows 10 by then, uh, who knows, uh, and, um, and have a play. You know, come along with teachers, bring children along, come along and see what we're doing with our children as well. So, um, yeah, so that hopefully that gives you a little insight to some of the things we've been doing with technology. Do um, follow us, this is the school's Twitter handle, there'll be more information on there coming out soon around the sandpit, opportunities to come and visit the school. Um, thanks for listening, it's lovely to be able to share the journey with you all, and, uh, and I'm happy to take any questions or, uh, or thoughts that people may have. Do we have any questions, ladies and gentlemen? Speak up and hold your peace until tomorrow, but please, for the few hours, any more questions, any takers? Yes, sir, how are you doing? Hi. When will the sandpit be up and running? When will the sandpit up? So it's a bit like Windows 10, 
It'll be coming soon. Yeah, okay. We can't quite confirm the, the date at the moment, but really excited. We, we, by Easter, we're hoping that it will be live and we'll put some dates out for the summer, summer term. Is it, is it like a drop-in place or should we... Okay, so what we'll do is uh, we'll have a schedule of uh, uh, dates that people can okay. come and visit and then there'll be a sign-up so we make sure that we've got, uh, uh, you know, we can manage the numbers that come and see if people want to come with children or want to come with colleagues or so Any more questions? Wrap up? Okay, that'll be all. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Tom Reeves, thank you very much.